Find the derivative of y equals 2x minus 5 to the fourth power all over 3x plus 1 to the third power using logarithmic differentiation. Logarithmic differentiation is a process that can be used to simplify the derivative of complicated expressions. In this problem, the quotient rule could be used to find this derivative. Inside the quotient rule, you would have to apply the chain rule twice or expand the numerator and denominator. Either way, it would require a lot of work. Logarithmic differentiation is a process that can be used to simplify this process a little bit. And logarithmic differentiation is based on taking the natural log or the log of both sides of an equation as the first step. And the reason that this is advantageous is because if you take the natural log of the quotient 2x minus 5 to the fourth power over 3x plus 1 to the third power, this quotient can be broken apart into smaller pieces using the properties of logarithms. In this case, the natural log of this fraction can be broken down, can be expanded to be written as the natural log of 2x minus 5 to the fourth power minus the natural log of 3x plus 1 to the third power. Additionally, each of the terms on the right side of this equation have an exponent that can be moved to the front of the natural log. So the first term becomes 4 times the natural log of 2x minus 5 and the second term becomes 3 times the natural log of 3x plus 1. So what we've done here is taken the logarithm of both sides, the natural log of both sides, and realize we've taken the natural log of the left side of this equation as well to keep it balanced. And I have the natural log of y now as the left side of the equation. The right side of the equation has been expanded to make each individual term's derivative a lot simpler to find than the original equation's derivative. At this point, I will differentiate both sides of the equation. Realize that if y equals the natural log of any u, the derivative is equal to, it's a fraction, the denominator is that u unchanged, and the numerator is the derivative of that u. When I differentiate both sides of the equation, implicit differentiation has to be used on the left side of the equation. I'm differentiating with respect to x. So the derivative of the natural log of y is y unchanged in the denominator, but y prime, a factor of the derivative of y with respect to x in the numerator. On the right side of the equation, the derivative of 4 times the natural log of 2x minus 5 would be 4 times, and then the derivative of the natural log of 2x minus 5 would have a 2x minus 5 in the denominator, and the derivative of that 2 in the numerator. The derivative of the second term on the right, the natural log of 3x plus 1 has a derivative of, it's a quotient, 3x plus 1 is in the denominator, and the derivative of 3x plus 1, namely 3, is in the numerator. Simplifying those two terms, we can see that y prime over y, realize we have not solved for y prime at this point, we haven't found the derivative of y with respect to x but we're going to clean things up before we solve for that y prime. On the right side, I have 8 over 2x minus 5 minus 9 over 3x plus 1. The next thing I'll do before I solve for y prime is to put these two fractions together. I mean, get a common denominator and add them together and write it as a single fraction, as a single quotient. The least common denominator between two fractions that have denominators of 2x minus 5 and 3x plus 1 would be 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 1. And I will write both fractions with that denominator. In the first fraction, the original denominator was 2x minus 5. I multiplied that denominator by 3x plus 1 to get the least common denominator. So I'll have to, to keep the fraction unchanged, multiply the numerator by 3x plus 1 as well. 
The second fraction had the original denominator of 3x plus 1. To get to the least common denominator, I multiplied the, de the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, by 2x minus 5. I'll multiply the top of that fraction by 2x minus 5 as well. Now that the two fractions have the same denominator, I can write them as a single fraction. And the denominator of that single fraction will be the least common denominator that I found, 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 1. In the numerator of that fraction will be the result of 8 times the quantity of 3x plus 1, which is 24x plus 8. And the result of negative 9, I'll have to make sure to distribute this negative along with the 9, times the quantity of 2x minus 5, which is negative 18x plus 45. Combining the like terms in that numerator gives me y prime over y equals 24x minus 18x is 6x and 8 plus 45 is 53. And that is all over 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 1. So I've now simplified the right side of this as much as I can. It's not the final answer yet, though, because I haven't found the derivative of y with respect to x. I have to isolate y prime to do that. So what I'll do is I'll multiply both sides of the equation. I want to isolate y prime, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by y. That will serve to eliminate the y on the right or on the left side of the equation and isolate y prime, which, which is representing the derivative of y with respect to x. So when I multiply the right side of the equation by y, I'll have y times the 6x plus 53 over 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 1. I, don't wanna, I, do, I do not want to have a factor of y in my final answer, so I'll look back at the original problem, the original problem being uh, y equals 2x minus 5 to the fourth over 3x plus 1 to the third, and substitute that for y. The original problem stated that y was equal to 2x minus 5 to the fourth power over 3x plus 1 to the third power. And that's what I'm replacing y with at this point. And that's being multiplied by 6x plus 53 over 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 1. Now there's a couple simplifications I can do before stating my final answer. In the numerator, I have 2x minus 5 to the fourth power. And in the denominator, there's a factor of 2x minus 5 to the first. That simplifies to 2x minus 5 to the third in the numerator. One of the factors of 2x minus 5 in the denominator divides with one of the factors of 2x minus 5 to the fourth in the numerator, leaving me with 2x minus 5 to the third in the numerator. Also in the numerator, I have a factor of 6x plus 53. In the denominator, when multiplying across the numerator and across the denominator, I'm going to be multiplying 3x plus 1 to the third and 3x plus 1 to the first power. That product is 3x plus 1 to the fourth power. When you multiply the same base, the same factor, you add the exponents and 3 plus 1 is 4. So the derivative of y with respect to x, y prime, is equal to 2x minus 5 to the third power times the quantity of 6x plus 53 all over 3x plus 1 to the fourth power.